Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We are gonna be updating my deck of panning project pan for the month of June. This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. You guys know she's a favorite of mine. Go check her out. I will leave her linked in the description box down below, as well as all of the other information pertaining to this project. It is a game style project where there is a deck of cards involved and a game board with different prompts to choose different makeup products or beauty products to pan based on those props. We started the year with five beauty products and every single month that I don't reach my goal on a product, as a consequence to myself, I still draw a card to roll in a product. So we are up to seven products. And unfortunately, I don't have a rollout today. So we will be up to eight and that's okay. That's okay. I'm super excited about it. I'm excited to share my progress with you guys. If you are interested, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, you know I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. Guys, as always, I go in order that these products have been in this that I go in order that these products have been in this project. So the one and only product that is still in this project from the introduction is this product right here. This is my Joseph Colors liquid lipstick in the shade A Mauve Story. And I rolled this in for the prompt an influencer collab or brand. So I rolled, I believe that was a prompt. I will always post it on the screen. I'm like, was it that or was it Graveyard Project Pan? I rolled this in for. Um, but I believe I rolled this in because it's a collaboration with Desi and Katie. I have worked on this in so many other various projects trying to finish this off. And I think I only reached for this like two times this past month. Not a lot. I will say I haven't taken the stopper out yet, but I do keep having to dip in multiple times to coat the lips. So it's potentially almost time to take the stopper out. Goal is still going to be to use this up and empty it out. I would love to have a liquid lipstick empty by the end of the year. And I feel like this is my best shot at that. Um, it is like the perfect your lips, but better for me the perfect your lips but better sort of shade. Typically I find the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks formula liquid lipstick formula to be one of the least dry feeling on the lips and this one is even more less dry feeling. So it's almost like a satin liquid lipstick in my opinion, but this weighed 22 gram 22 grams at the introduction. It weighed 21 grams last update, so it weighs 21 grams today. We are still chugging along on that one. The next product has been in since February and it is my L'Oreal Glow Paradise lipstick in the shade Beige Eden. I rolled this in for the prompt, your favorite color. And for me, this is my favorite shade of lipstick. I'm gonna show you first what this looks like all the way rolled down. I only reached for this a couple times too this past month. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself, but I will say this is like the perfect summer lip like the perfect lip to carry in your clutch your purse just to bring with you for patio drinking um just because it's an easy like it's very easy to put on it's super comfortable it's the satin formula it's not going to go all over my face and i it's my favorite shade of lipstick so i need to keep chugging along on this i feel like i've given myself really hard goals within this project which could be the reason i keep having to roll products in but i'm having so much fun panning this year as opposed to last year when i was feeling project pan fatigue so i'm okay with it Goal is to finish this up, so we're still working on that one. All right, the next two products rolled in in March. Up first, I have my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I think I rolled this in for a graveyard product. Um, I repressed this since I repressed it, I want to say in April. I don't think I reached for this at all last month. I really want to finish this up. My goal is to empty this out. I really want to finish this product this year because this has been a product that I've been really wanting to finish for multiple years and I just do not contour. I don't contour. So I'm really struggling with this, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. That's all I have to say. And then speaking of contour, the next product is this one right here. This is the Oma Beauty Double Take Stick and I rolled this in, I believe, for a duo ended product. It has a contour and a highlight. This is one of the 23 products I wanted to pan this year. I knew I had to put it in a project or we were not gonna have any sort of chance at that. So here is the contour side all the way rolled down. This is the side that has definitely gotten the most use. Speaking of me not contouring, there is this all the way rolled up. We've made good progress on the contour side. I use this underneath my chin. I don't use it on my face. I literally just use it underneath my chin. And I feel better about myself using it that way. And I like using it that way. I'm getting use out of it that way. The highlight side all the way rolled down looks like this. 
we are not making as great of progress on the highlighter side i need to just like draw this on my body like that is how i'm going to use this up um that's the only way i'm going to be able to use this product up this year so i need to do that I haven't been great about that but you know what the pool is now open at my apartment i have my patio i can go outside um you know the beach is a walk away so i just need to use this this weighed 36 grams when i rolled this in 35 grams last update still weighs 35 grams today then we have a product that i was so ambitious and really wanted to hit my goal on but i didn't and that's okay because i'm okay with reaching for this another month this is the chanel Le Beige healthy cream glow bronzer um this is what mine is looking like i've definitely made progress and i'm super excited to look at the comparison photos because looking into this i see that dip in the center and it just it makes me happy to look at this because i know i've gotten use out of this product i rolled this in for the prompt um a wish list dupe and at the time i had so many other cream bronzers on my wish list that i was thinking about buying during for the vib sale one of them being the say cream bronzer in the packaging i don't know something about it just like reminded me of the say cream bronzer or just cream bronzers in general so i rolled this in and i gave myself a 30 use goal on this i would used it six out of those 30 uses last update and i did reach for it an additional 14 times which i'm actually super proud of myself for so i only need to reach for it another 10 times this next month in order to reach my goal that should be no problem for me to do um, i've really been enjoying finding different ways to use this like i like it more underneath my foundation in like an underpainting way i actually have it on today in that way with the armani neo nude foundation on top and i really enjoyed the way that my makeup turned out today um more so than i like putting this on top of my foundation that's what i found so just been having fun with this one this weighed 135 grams when i rolled this in 134 grams last time update and 133 grams today so we are seeing weight change as well this is an expensive product quite a pricey product so i'm very excited to be getting use on that and then the last two products rolled in for the last or rolled in the last update so up first i have my jacqueline cosmetics um liquid highlight and i rolled this in for i think it was social media pics so i posted a poll um the jacqueline highlight versus the iconic london liquid highlight and asked which one you guys would prefer me pan and the jacqueline hill one which actually was the one i was wanting to work on to kind of just get you set up so i actually found a way that i love using this i was mixing this with my iconic london liquid bronzer and putting it like all over my chest and shoulders and it almost acted like a bronzy body blur like a shimmery bronzy body blur and i loved the way that that looked now my iconic london liquid bronzer is empty so i'm going to try that with my drunk elephant de bronzy drops and i'm also i've also been trying mixing these two together it's a little bit intense like a little bit too much shimmer and sheen when i mix these two products together but i've just been trying to find different ways to get use out of products that i'm trying to pan i don't love this on the cheeks because it's just super intense and very metallic but i did myself the long haul goal of finishing this product up this was pretty full like pretty all but brand new when i rolled this in and today it was like right here now i'm like shaking the product up but we're still like we still have such a long way to go that is where i am currently marking it still such a long way to go but again it's pool season i can put this on my legs i can put this all over my body um this weighed 78 grams when i rolled this in last update it weighs 76 grams today so i've been using it i have been using it and i'm going to continue to use it and then the final product that i rolled in last update i cannot remember the prompt that i rolled this product in for why can't i i bet i can pull it up oh the brand you own the most from yes which um i fenty beauty is like if it's not it's like close i'm pretty sure it is fenty beauty um so i decided to roll in i just realized i still had the like sticker thing on my and this is like old -er. um i rolled in my fenty beauty cheeks out cream bronzer cream blush excuse me in the shade strawberry drip i absolutely love this shade for the summertime i did give myself a 30 use goal with this one i did only reach for it three times um not my best <laughs> but i know i'll get a ton of use out of this this is like the shade that i love this time of year it gives a really beautiful sunburnt glowy sort of blush finish um this underneath my franken 
blush out of the ABH Sultry. I feel like those two will pair together really well. Um, if this is a little bit too intense, the other day I mixed it with my Daniel Sandler watercolor blush in the shade Nectar to kind of like neutralize it a little bit. And I did really like that. So I will find more ways to get more use out of it. I'm hoping to reach for this at least 10 times by the next update. So we'll be at like 13, 12 times. Let's shoot for 12. So we're halfway there at the next update. But this weighed 26 grams last update still weighs 26 grams today Ooh, i feel like i'm out of breath i need to pull out my cards because we are gonna roll in a product as a consequence to me not finishing anything i will shuffle hopefully you guys can hear and then i'll shuffle also above um there is a joker in the deck the joker stands for something you really 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 don't want to pan and if i get the joker i'm going to choose a pat mcgrath palette to work on and do like a 50 use on a pat palette is what i am thinking that's where i'm at okay we've we've shuffled we've bridged we're shuffling some more all right i'm going to pull up the game board so you guys can follow along after and we get the six of diamonds last update i also <laughs> accidentally pulled up the 2022 game board so my last two prompts were off the 2022 game board okay six of diamonds we have largest category Ugh. Ugh. okay that would be hmm i have a lot of eyeshadow but i don't want to work on any more eyeshadow so it would be either blush which i've recently decluttered some blushes probably a lip gloss probably a lip gloss maybe i'll choose a lip oil to work on like is that cheating because technically in my makeup inventory i separate my lip glosses from my lip oils but that's new i used to keep them all together i'm gonna go look at my lip gloss slash lip oil collection i've been trying to get through some glosses been trying to get oh actually no i know what i'm gonna choose for this oh Oh, it's in my bathroom. One minute. All right, you guys, I'm getting ready to update my makeup inventory at the end of this month. So I will be really interested to see like what my largest category actually is. I know it's eyeshadow, but I'm going to exclude eyeshadow because I usually <laughs> exclude eyeshadow from like, it's just in my head. It's like a separate, you know, so it's, it's fine. We have so many other, if you want me to work on eyeshadow, like I have so many other, I have so many other like projects and just series that I'm working on eyeshadow like no thank you so i'm almost positive my next largest category is lip gloss although i have recently finished off quite a few glosses and i want to continue that i want to continue that i have quite a few older glosses in my collection currently my glosses sit in two drawers in my like makeup drawers and i'm getting closer and closer to getting them all to fit in one drawer i mean technically they could all fit in one drawer but i like to have them like spread out so i can see them all blush might be it's either lip gloss or blush but if you include and combine all of my lips as a whole lips would definitely even outdo eyeshadow so that's how i'm justifying this decision and this was a gloss i pulled out just the other day as something i want to focus on this summer because i love the shade for the summer and it's also getting older in my collection i should smell this it smells totally fine it is a pat mcgrath lip gloss but it is just a mini size and it's the pale fire nectar lust gloss um this is what it looks like it's this bright shimmery pink it reminds me of patrick ta the one that i finished was it last year the one is she younger than you um and this is what it looks like it's just a really sparkly gloss it it has like obviously it looks obviously it looks pink in the tube but it's more of like a pale pink almost like clear gloss with like a lot of pink sparkles running through it so perfect time of year to get use out of this gloss um my goal is going to be to finish this up this is one that when i pulled this out the other day i was like okay i want to focus on this i feel like i can finish this one this year so that is gonna be my goal um my goal is to finish this gloss off i don't necessarily know that that will happen by the next update we'll see but i do i mean i can I can have this as an as not an empty i can have this as a goal complete next update that might be it <laughs> that might be the only goal complete but at least we'll have one goal complete <laughs> so we won't be rolling in hopefully an additional product but that is going to wrap it up for today's deck of panning project pan update would love to know what products have you recently finished off let me know what product was your most recent empty 
in the comments down below other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next video bye